Which condition is best characterized by abnormally large red blood cells? A. Maple syrup urine disease. B. Anemia. C. Microcytic anemia. D. Pernicious anemia. So let's highlight our key words of condition, best characterized, and abnormally large red blood cells. So let's start with A. So maple syrup urine disease is not associated with bigger red blood cells, and it's really not relevant to the question at all. So we can eliminate this answer pretty safely. How about B? So technically, anemia can be characterized by large red blood cells or small red blood cells. So this is a general correct answer, but it's also ambiguous at the same time. Okay, and the question is asking for which condition is best characterized. That best is our clue that, hey, maybe this isn't the best answer because it's general. So let's bank this answer for now and move on to C. So microcytic anemia is something that can be eliminated because, as the name implies, Microcytic anemia is characterized by small red blood cells. Micro meaning small, cytic meaning cells, small cells. So let's eliminate this answer choice and move on to D. So because microcytic anemia is listed, it would be natural to assume that macrocytic anemia would be listed as well. But it's not. Instead, we have pernicious anemia, and that's what's listed. So... Pernicious anemia is actually a type of macrocytic anemia, which is characterized by large red blood cells. So considering this, let's go back to B, which was just anemia. Now, we have to choose between whether the correct answer is anemia or pernicious anemia. We're being asked to choose the condition that is best characterized, and best is oftentimes the one that is most specific. Anemia is general. Pernicious anemia is specific. Therefore, we can eliminate answer B, and that leaves us with D, pernicious anemia, and that is indeed the correct answer.